I'm here with Eagles defensive tackle Malik Jackson, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro at the Novacare Complex Day 1. Welcome to Philadelphia, man. Thank you. Thank how, you. How, what is day one like? Like fans have no idea what yeah. you are doing yeah. the first day you're here. What what happens? Um, you fly in, you know. Luckily, well, luckily we were able to fly into Newark, so we drove down, um, got in the hotel, came straight here. Had to do physicals, uh, make sure I'm still healthy, and everything that I said was true. Uh -huh. And uh, came, met a lot of people around here today, a lot of good people, just to get to know the lay of the land. Signed a contract, now I'm talking to you. Yeah, it, it, is Philadelphia, is this the first time you kind of spent any time in the city? Definitely the first time, yeah. Are you a city guy? I am. I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised. I live in Hollywood in the off-season, so I like noise. and Hollywood? Yeah. Okay. He's got <laughs> the, the Birmingham yes. Patriots. Birmingham High School Patriots. Now, I know this yes. is not the original jacket, right? No, it's you're not the way original. more beast now than you were in high yes, school. Yes, yes. I lost the other one, so my mom had to give me another one. So uh, Most fun you've ever had playing football in your life. Is it at the NFL level? <laughs> Is it college? Is it high school? Or, or like at the NFL level, the professionalism has to take over. So I wonder, you know, when did you really kind of just love the, love it the most? Um, I think Pop Warner is when you love it the most because that's why you keep going. But I think where, you know, college, you go to college and then you're just trying to work to get to the NFL. So it's fun, but it's like, ah, I want to get somewhere. And the NFL is fun for me. You know, I think these last few years I've had a really good time, um, especially when I'm able to step up and be who I know how I am and people are like, oh, he's really good. You know, like to truly be a good player and then keep going. It, it, I think I've had a lot of fun here because I can just be myself. Malik, we're all excited about the fit here in this Eagles defense. You know that Jim likes to get after it, really aggressive scheme. Is his scheme unusual in the NFL because of that get up the field kind of mandate? Um, I, I might be rare, but you know, I, th I think Seattle does it. I know in Jacksonville we had guys that just get off. We played a little gap scheme too, but uh, it's nice for a D lineman. You know, he told me I can just be able to get up the field, get off, uh, go go wreck, make havoc, and the linebackers will clean it up. It's something that I've never really had an opportunity to do before, so I'm very happy to get the opportunity to go out there and just get off the ball and, and see what happens. What kind of stuff had you kind of done before? Uh, you get off the ball, you just stay in your gap, you read. You know what I'm saying? You try to take pressure off the linebackers, you know, let them kind of feel, even though they take off double teams from us, but they still have, you know, we still have to kind of sit there and play with the O-line and they can scrape across and, and make tackles. But here, it doesn't seem like it's the case. It's been pretty remarkable, your career. Fifth round draft pick. Well, first, back it up. USC and then back down to Tennessee, the mm -hmm. SEC country. Mm -hmm. Crazy environment for football, I'm sure. Yep. Great environment, right? Yep, this, this is awesome, man. The SEC football, just Tennessee, period. They love their orange. And then you get drafted by the Denver Broncos fifth round, mm -hmm. eventually win a Super Bowl. We experienced that a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. your, your thrill of winning the Super Bowl, does it still resonate with you that moment and the days after? Oh, yeah. You, I still remember everything after the game, seeing my family, seeing my friends, how everybody was mad. I mean, sorry, happy for yeah. me. Um, mad crazy happy. Mad crazy happy, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, it's just an awesome feeling. You know, you want to bring people like that together again and have that experience again. So that's what I'm looking for. And where is the ring? It's at home. I, I was going to bring it, but I was like, I don't know how a Denver ring would be. But we are going to get We both have one, so we're going to get another yeah, one together. I like together. that. I like yeah. that. Uh, describe yourself as a player for the Eagles fans who may not be as familiar with with you and your game. Um, Hard-nosed player. Goes hard. Likes to have fun. Um, likes to put people in the dirt. Um, <laughs> talks a lot of trash. Calming down a little bit, but talks a lot run? of trash. Yeah. Is it clean trash on the field? Is there a such thing? Yes, I think there is such a thing. Nah. But it, but it is a physical, emotional, passionate game. That yes. is That is... It's what the what reading about you, talking to people about you. That is how you're described: a physical, nasty, passionate, love the game, win one on one battle kind I of guy. I appreciate that's awesome. Make you, make you start crying. A no, don't bit, cry. Right? Not on not on, not on day not one here. here. Not, I'm not, hard not, though. No, no, I'm hard. Philadelphia, yeah. Philadelphia fans. Now Jacksonville, uh, uh, an interesting story there as well. I mean, really got close a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Stepped out. It's, it, it really reminds you how hard it is to win in the NFL, doesn't it? It, it, it shows you how hard it is because we went to the AFC uh, championship game. We were so close to, to winning, and then we come back the next year like, you know what, we're going to do it again, you know, go work harder. And, and everybody did, but <laughs> it just shows you things. a lot of things have to go right for you just to get in the playoffs and then continue to make that run. And we learned that week seven, <laughs> you know, it wasn't happening. So Malik, it, it, when you lose it, it late that late in the season, I mean, it is a – deep psychological wound. Mm -hmm. Did it take you a while to get over that? An AFC championship? Yeah. No, because I think I understand, you know, first of all, I was I was happy I walked off the field. You know what I'm saying? That's something I always like to be proud about, just being able to walk off the field and give your hardest. But somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. And I think I like to just take things from that situation. What could I have done better? What could we have done better? And move on. You know, just because you dwell in it, it's not going to change anything. So, you know, of course I was upset, don't get me wrong, but hey man, 
got yeah, to gotta, connection. Got to move on. You, when, when you met the media on Wednesday, you talked about Derek Barnett and, and Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox. You clearly have done some homework here mm -hmm. on this football team. Um, what do you think of that D-line? What makes a defensive line come together? It's not just individual talent. Mm -hmm. What will it take to make the Philadelphia Eagles great up front? Hell, I think they're already great up front. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm just coming in here at a small piece, um, just a little bit of depth. You know, I think they got Fletcher Cox, who I personally is one of the best three techniques, interior D-lineman uh, in my era. You know, we were the same year draft class. But, uh, yeah, I think I think so for me just coming in here, it's just about just being a hard-nosed guy, um, giving everything I have, and, and just showing the young guys, you know, what it means to work hard and uh, be successful, hopefully, and uh, just make it translate on the field. Do you have a relationship with Fletcher based on maybe the combine or – or you know, playing in, in the SEC back yeah. in, in the day? Nah, man, he was always a big dog, you know what I'm saying, first rounder. Uh, nah, I, I <laughs> Don't never... ever say that out loud. <laughs> Don't give Fletcher more reason nah. to love himself. <laughs> nah. I mean, I met him in through passing, you know, yeah. a little conversations here and there, but um, it's probably the most I've been able to talk to him through a text, and uh, I'm excited to meet him, you know, when I come here and just pick his brain, see how he works. You know, he's a, he's a monster, so I'm, I'm very excited to see how, how he does things so I can learn. Malik, what do you know about Philadelphia, the culture here, the fan base here, the back to the word passion, because it's a, such a strong word, yeah. the passion that the Eagles fans have for their team? I mean, I know you guys are really, really passionate out here. You know, we. I, we. It's all we me. now, right? Excuse me. We. Yeah, okay. We're very passionate out here. You love your sports. You love your football. Um, hell, I saw that in England when you guys traveled. So it's one of those things that I, I know who this town is. I know what they expect, and I know what they demand. And... Uh, I just want to be able to give it to him like you guys did two years ago. Yeah. We, I, like we did two years yeah, ago. Yeah, like we did. Well, we did it two years ago. I uh, wonder, after sorry. losing the AFC Championship game, did you watch the Super Bowl when the Eagles beat the Patriots? Yeah, I was like, we should be there beating it. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You guys should be there getting your butts kicked <laughs> by the Eagles as well. Uh, like are you a football? Are you a football fan? I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm more, I, I love football, but I like, like, European football more than, like, Oh, you're a football. soccer guy. I'm a soccer okay. guy. But I love, I, I watch film all the time. I watch football. I watch college, yeah. I know you are extremely uh, community-oriented. Mm -hmm. You're very uh, much a supporter of the military. Mm -hmm. Kind of talk about that and, and how you've, you know, become so ingratiating and ingrained into the into the community. Well, my uh, charity is called Malik's Gifts, and it helps uh, at-risk youth, uh, military families, and, uh, Pets, and so that means a lot to me. It's one of the things I like to yes. um, take care of, and I think it's important to give back to our military because they allow me to go out here and play this game and make a lot of money. So I think it's important to give back to them. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just me. It's important to give back to the community for me because uh, pretty much they're the ones paying my check. You know what I'm saying? I can like to thank uh, the owner, but they're the ones buying the tickets and doing everything. So I think it's important just to give back and let them know one, you know, I'm just like you guys, and, and two, it's, it's important to give back and show these younger guys, like, hey, when you get your money, Give back, you know. Yeah. What about the pets thing? I, I, somebody told me you did a you uh, adopted a yeah. bunch of pets for, for people. So for the Jacksonville Humane Society, um, I was able to partner with them, and I paid for the, all the adoption fees for the pets. Uh, and uh, I think we, I know we had a record amount of pets being adopted that day. So it was awesome. You're a good guy, aren't you? I try, man. Yeah, I it's try. important, right? Hey, don't tell me that. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm don't start, start going to cry again. You know, like, all right, let's <laughs> let, let's get let's get down to business with Malik Jackson here. <clears throat> we are going to ask five questions for Malik Jackson. All right, here's the rules. Okay. I ask a question, you give an answer. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, you're new to the locker room. Mm -hmm. Are you a clean locker guy or a messy locker guy? I'm a clean locker guy. I hang my shirts up by color, and then my shorts, and then my pants. So, very clean. You're an OCD locker guy, maybe. I, I can't say I go that far, <laughs> because it's still, like, sometimes it gets to a place where it needs to be, but I'm very structured. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you look good so far uh, here. Uh, you look fine. Thank what you. kind of dresser are you? How would you describe yourself as a dresser? I like to look nice. You know, I have Chelsea boots on, uh, nice, nice dad color, you know, jacket, um, granddad color. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say flashy, you know, but... If we're going to a nice place, I like to dress up nice. If we're going to go hang out, then I'll dress as we hang out. I dress for the occasion. Any chance that people in Philadelphia will see Malik Jackson on the dance floor, uh, perhaps on a, <laughs> on a Friday night in the offseason? Uh, unless I'm judging the dance off, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is very important. Every Philadelphian needs an answer here. Okay. What is your knowledge of the Philadelphia cheesesteak? It's really good. You've um, had one? No. Okay, okay. I so, have not. I so know what do you hear about it? I know there's bell peppers, cheese, and steak, and bread. I mean, I hear that it's there the best. There is cheese, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's I, cheese I, I, wit. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll get you cheese I have, whiz. I have to try one. Yeah, you'll have, have to, to you'll be trying yeah. many, but not too many because you got to stay, yeah, stay trim. It's so much coming up, so I have to keep uh, my finger. All right. When you're not involved in the game of football, you're most likely doing what? Playing FIFA. Okay. Working Who's your out. team? I like to play with all teams. 
I'm pretty good, but you know, if you want to try me, just hit me up, Champagne Leak. That's my uh, game tag. Okay. I'll and um, what is your what is your what, what your kind of game do you play? Are you an aggressive FIFA guy? Uh, I mean, I, you have a strategy, or you? Oh, just, of course. You know, okay. I go in there strategy, and I make sure I watch the uh, European leagues, you know, La Liga and all those teams, so I can get what the coaches are doing and then take it to my game and put it on the pitch. You ever play soccer? No. On the, on the pitch. No. Listen Look to you. at me. You yeah. hear me? One game in London, and all of a sudden he's talking about it on the pitch. All right. Uh, last one. What is a useless talent that you have that we don't know about? A useless talent. <laughs> ah, a useless talent, huh? Like, for example, I can name every NBA player where they went to college. Okay. Okay. Um, Preferably pre-1985, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is a useful ta useless talent? Uh, I know how to get around by driving, like using streets and stuff real well. Oh, yeah, really? You, yeah. have like a, you have like a, an innate way? Of, you don't like yeah. use ways all the time? Nah, I just look at the maps and I can like see, all right, that's packed. All right, let me tell you this. Is that. Like, you can I read can, a map? <laughs> I, I, I can get around things really fast driving. Like I, I like to like know where I'm going. Everything in Philadelphia is perpendicular. Is it? So, yeah, very easy. I want to thank you very much for coming thank to the you. studio. Appreciate Congratulations. That. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Can't wait to see you playing in this Eagles Eagles defense. All right. Thank you. Malik Jackson, newest Philadelphia Eagle, joining us here.